07 citizens. This video is all about joystick sensitivity curves, ESP settings and a couple more settings that I would recommend to you. Let's go into it. If you need to fiddle around on this, go into Arena Karam Commander, always get a nimble ship to try things out. Remember, you can get Rent the Aegis Gladius for free, always, and this is a really great ship to um, fiddle around with your sensitivity curves. Don't use a big ship for doing it, and you need a nimble, responsive ship. Um, you choose on offline mode and you pick up free flight and you select your ship you want to fly with of course your server name you want to choose now we can start adjust your sensitivity curves you can do it either in game they work they're good um the reason why i use my software that it's happening that these curves are just gone when you lock back in again and i can't be able to do that over again yeah not cool that this stuff is keep on going that's why i'm doing it in the software of vkb okay all what you see here you have in the game as well a little bit less sophisticated as it is here in this um software of vkb you see we have 10 percent steps from zero to 100 percent this indicates how far you move your stick into one direction and depending on that um, the different dampening of your movement happens by setting up this responsivity curve. You see the classical S shape, that's what most Star Citizen players recommend to play with. So the first button part of it is slow movement but precise movement. So if I push into that first 60% these are slow and movements and as further I go up as faster get those movements. Okay, so. This is important, it gives you the ability to quick turn fast, get out of a situation by doing big movements and if you want to fly precise, do your circle strafe and all and the corkscrewing and all these kind of things, you want to use the, the short movements, the slow movements, so you have the most accuracy, most precise thing. These numbers here, well that's what I'm currently playing with, they will change again, they have changed already, because as you improve you change those curves. So go out there get into your arena commander fiddle it around it is a game changer i highly recommend you to take the time and set them up yes and then you go out and start training practicing and i'm really not giving you any advice on that because i'm still learning i'm I go to avenger one to jonathan winters these are amazing pilots if you check out the youtube channels go connect in game with people who um know a lot about it have a lot of practice they're so helpful this community is so helpful when you come so that to learn and teach new people as soon as i'm considering myself ready for it yeah, i'm gonna make that maybe too but for now <laughs> yeah yeah this is uh streaming that i'm practicing here around an asteroid this is as well useful to learn how to respond when you start to black out or to red out you just need to roll your ship into the other direction so you balance out the um, the chi pressure and very important turn off your chi safety uh, by default it's really not helpful um, especially when you wanna i don't think it's helpful for anything learn how to deal with um, the cheap pressure that's what i recommend that's what i did and that works pretty well for me so far a couple of other settings i re recommend you from the game general settings um, one of the things you really want to change is um, disabling gsafe um, by default off as well uh, to disable it when boosting these are really important things to have turned off to get into decoupled, I need to learn more, so at the present moment it's still off. Oh, we are at the ESP, the Enhanced, enhanced Stick Precision. This is in two, thing, two parts, you have the degrees and you have the dampening curve. So, the degrees sets the circle around your target where the ESP starts to kick in. The ESP works in the way that as soon as your cross end comes across the pip the ESP kicks in as bigger the circle 
the earlier the ESP starts to dampen your movements, which means it slows you down. If you have it too bit, you get too slow and you have a hard time moving around your targets. So make sure you find a place that really works for you. Fiddle around, try out, the better you get, a smaller the circle will be. Make sure to have a keybind, you really only need it in, in combat. And then we have the weapon convergence. This is where your lasers meet, in what distance. It's standard is 1500, it's way too big. If you do ground, shoot people on the ground, you want to have it closer. 100 is a good value, because if you have the target locked on, it will any way um, lock on to that distance and not on 100. As my guns are fixed, I turn off all the gimbal standard. I want to have it on fixed. That's how I'm using it. I fly lag. Some people like to have um, lead on the pip so they see what their movements or how they're moving actually impacting their pip. So it's a choice to be made to figure out what to do and what's going to do do best. I like lag because I like to aim at specific parts of the ship. That's why I am preferring it. A couple of other things you might want to disable. This is all the head movements as you start aiming. So you don't have all this shiver and this shaking. This comes as well by the G-Force head movements when you start to accelerate. The thing you might want to change is the pilot's velocity indicator that shows whether your ship goes forward or backward. I have it on always on because if you have it like it's in default on fade as it goes to the crosshair you won't see it again. A couple of tricks and hints around joystick curvature, sensitivity, ESP and another settings that are nice to have. If this was helpful please like, subscribe and share it with your friends, 07 Citizen.